This is Killer Keller for the Killer Keller Podcast live show. We are Central London, around the corner from Oxford Circus, across the other way from Fashion Space Gallery. We're there for the Real Thing exhibition that's on till the 2nd of May of my boy Dr. Noki, the mashup bootleg king. And we're going to show you how he's using mashup as a political form of expression. Let's go and see it. Nicki Minaj, Naomi Campbell, Lady Gaga, Killer Kells. We're only in the building with my guy, Nucky, NHS. Tell us a bit about this, my brother. It's a show put together by Anastasia, a Russian girl who's been obsessed by branding, she's obsessed with the whole idea of bootlegging, and she was like, you know, you're one of the first bootleggers back in the days, um, but you do it in a different way to the kids now, so would you put on this show? So I came up with the four sustainable skins made in Brexit by Noki as a reaction to the new addiction online with the skins and the avatars and the kids spending fortunes and it's now all over the news. So let's talk about this piece for example, Nox. Like, uh, explain this. I've cut in a section, cut from another sweatshirt, Adidas sweatshirt, but then I've used the Nike tick to smash through Adidas, like in the graffiti sense, you know, line it through so the, le the words that are left is the AIDS campaign, so, oh you, so you end up with a a safe sex campaign in the raves. What about that there? That's crazy. So this is a whole heap of... This is pussies underneath it. So it's kind of the cat and mouse. <laughs> the thing the brand do to us, chase it, chase it, and chase it. Here's what you understand. This is an art piece. This isn't like you go and wear it. There's different levels in which Noki likes to work, right? I, 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 I'm a textile artist and, and I, wear, I make wearable art. I want you to be my muse, not my consumer. Everyone loves vintage now, and the prices are like soaring. Like you cutting up these sorts of vintage pieces, um, and then looking at the price compared to like back in the day. Like how, how does that sit with you? Oh, when I was I say when I worked at MTV, I was in the rag yards all the time, and you'd find boxes of amazing yeah. Metallicas and Nikes and all the rest of the stuff that's worth a fortune now. So but you never worried for a second about the value of something. No, never. never. So if something came into your hands... No, I, I wanted to up the volume. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I wanted to change the brand yeah, yeah, yeah. value completely. <laughs> if we were to give you a t-shirt right now, yeah, would you be able to fuck with it? Try with it. That's what you give me. Great. Plain one. Get busy with that. Faces on here, no problem. So back in the days, graffiti obviously is like a thing now, everybody, but I used to dumb it down. Basically use it as a potato print, and I would just create geometric shape. Just following a pattern. And I used to do this, and it used to make me feel like I was part of that process, that the manufacturing of fashion. So that's your, that's your mobile phones. Bang in the eyes. And then I would tag it. And back in the days when the rave was one love, it's one knocky. Pow, 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 pow! He is the original, authentic. Disruptor, but also um, knows about sustainability before anybody knew what the word was. Smashes it. I mean, uh, not only is it recycled, it's you know the whole concept of the work is just kind of brilliant. Probably the first and most organic designer. Why? Because um, right now everybody's talking about sustainability. Um, check the sustainability that's going on here. Okay, that's your lot. If you don't know about the mashup bootleg business, you do now. Okay. 